It's magic, kids. It's magic. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Why is it not working on that one? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Honestly, I had no idea those things actually were magnetized. Uh, they're by Dritz. I got them at Walmart at some point or another. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very easily amused, obviously. So, anyhow, today's DIY is safety pin earrings. Yes, you can in fact put these things in your ears, but you have to do some stuff to them first. Otherwise you'll hurt yourself and you'll bleed and that would suck. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, how to make safety pins so that they can be worn. And you're like, I'm sorry, looking at my nose, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can do this, you can wear them like jewelry. And it's, uh, I get compliments on these a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, people are always like, are those are those earrings like are those safe are those safety pins and I'm like they're safety pins and they're earrings they didn't used to be earrings but I made them into earrings I can wear them so I want to show you guys how to do this um, if you only had your ears pierced for a couple of years like if you're relatively young I don't recommend doing this because it's just at that and you know when you've only had your ears pierced for a couple of years your skin is like really sensitive still and you're more likely to get like red run on your earlobe from wearing metals that like aren't that like aren't surgical steel or some kind of gold or solid silver or something like that so this is recommended for people like myself who have been wearing earrings for a little more a little longer now um but if you're feeling bold by all means just giving you the heads up that safety pins are not surgical steel um but there is a way to keep yourself from like turning red so I mean I've been wearing these for a couple years now and I've never really had a problem so anyway on to how to do this okay so what you will need is safety pins that are like the big size and you can get them at craft stores you can get them at Walmart you can get them Maybe at the drugstore even, like in the little, like in the little section where they have the, like the little bungee cords and, and things like that, like weird stuff that you would not find. I know Walgreens has them because I've bought them at Walgreens before too. So you're going to need your big safety pins. I would recommend having a pair of tiny little needle nose pliers just in case you need them. You probably won't need them, but you never know. So this is one of those things, just have it ready. That way if you do need it, you don't have to go looking for it. You're going to need a rasp or file. Um, this is a pretty fancy one, actually. This is my dad's. It's a carpentry file, I believe, but it's going to lend itself really well to what we're about to do. Uh, as you can see, it's got like the heavier grain and then finer grains and vice versa. So, there's that. You're going to need a basic metal finger fi fingernail file. As you can see here, this one is like kind of old and fucked up. The handle's missing. Uh, I don't recommend using a brand new one because it'll just ruin it. I mean, unless you want to, it's entirely up to you. Just a basic fingernail file. It has to be metal. It can't be the little soft, like, the little soft plasticky ones. It has to be metal. And you're also going to need a pair of wire cutters. Why wire cutters? Well, you'll see why in just a few minutes. Remember how I said you have to be careful because... Well, okay. Well, let me retract part of what I just said. You want to make sure that your earrings are not going to make your ears bleed. This is going to help. You're probably thinking, this girl's crazy. How in the world can a pair of wire cutters keep your ears from bleeding when you put in your safety pin earrings? <sighs> because typically this is something that itself would make you bleed. But you'll see. Okay. First, I gotta point something out. Oh, you're also gonna need a little thing of like Neosporin or some kind of antimicrobial ointment. I'll explain that in a few minutes. You will need it. So if you haven't got this, any of this, anything like this already, like Neosporin or Bacitracin or um, some kind of antimicrobial ointment, you might want to run and get some because you're going to need it if you're going to want to wear these earrings. So notice, notice how the tip of this safety pin is sharp. If you try and put that into your piercing hole of your ear, you're going to stab your ear flesh and you're actually gonna hurt yourself and bleed. You don't want that. So how do you get rid of the tip? Well, that's where the wire cutters come in. Check it out. Okay. 
you know you just want to cut off like just barely nick like the little like the little tip off and start small because you can always go back and remove more if need be so that's all right I mean you want it to be like you want it to be tapered still but not there we go that's a little better but not sharp okay see how I just kind of just barely can you see that oh. <laughs> sorry guys see how I just barely nicked that sharp little point off there okay next it's time to use the emery board and you want to use like the fine not the emery board I'm sorry the, the rasp you want to use like the finer stuff the finer side the tiny little grain okay and you just kind of And what you're doing is you're buffing off the rough places left from the wire cutters, is what you're doing. And just turn it around a few times just to make sure you're getting, you're getting it from all sides. So this is pretty easy. See? See how easy this is? Okay, and now it's fairly blunt. However, you need to take now the fingernail file. And you want to use, like... Uh, well, whichever side is less fucked up, really, let's just say that. And hit it a few more times. And this is getting rid of, getting it a little more smooth so that you can put it in your ear without hurting yourself once more. I mean, just kind of move it around, twist it around, change angles a little bit, just to make sure you're getting, getting it really good. And this fingernail file is actually, like, really old and fucked up, so I doubt it's really doing much good, but anyway... See, there. Now, see how, like, I don't know if you can really see the difference, but, I mean, I can with my naked eye. It's much smoother. It's actually suitable now to where you can actually put it into your ear hole and you, it will not cause you to bleed unless you're, unless you're doing something mainly stupid, like being really, really aggressive with it. Uh, you should not hurt yourself. So, all right, there's that. So, um, and if you have, like, some hand sanitizer or something like that, I strongly recommend using it just to kind of clean up your safety pin end and so now we've gotten that far basically you, you repeat the same thing with another safety pin I mean if you want to however many you want just do this so obviously your next step is to either put it in your ear or embellish it you can embellish these things like you can see how like okay the one I was wearing had a soda can tab on it I mean you can do any number of things with these. Let's see what I've got laying around or in my drawers that I can stick on here for you real quick. Uh, I'm digging through drawers trying to find something. Ah, here's some chains. No, there's too long. Uh, sorry, guys. Looks like my stash is running kind of dry. Anyway, but like stuff like chains, beads, soda can tabs, anything like that you can use to embellish these with. So next, I'm going to show you how to actually put them into your ear. Oh, uh-oh, I'm blurry. That's better. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to show you how to get these things in. First, I'm going to take the one I'm wearing out. So, because in order for me to show you how to put it in, it has to be out, right? So, and I just realized I forgot my triple antibiotic ointment. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, now, being that this thing obviously is wider than a normal earring post, you need to lubricate it. And my suggestion is to lubricate it with something that will help prevent infections, that will also help it have less actual contact with your skin in case you're sensitive to metals. I mean, I'm gonna lie, I'm really sensitive to metal. Like, remember when I was a whole lot younger, like when I would shave my legs, I would itch so bad. And to this day, I can't shave my legs all the time because I itch too bad because of the metal. And also earrings, like cheap earrings that are like some kind of weird, impure, weird something or whatever that have like nickel and stuff in them like my earlobe will turn red and swell up so like I can buy those earrings and I can remove the earring posts and make and use my own like sterling silver or something like that or I can dip the posts in triple antibiotic ointment which really helps 
So, I'm going to dip this in here like so. Okay. And first thing you want to do, if you've never done this before, if you've never put in something larger than like a normal earring post in, and it does take some getting used to. Like my earlobes or my holes are probably stretched just enough to wear these things. So, but they do take some getting used to. But it's totally worth it because they're so fucking cool. So, all right, first thing you want to do, I'm going to zoom in a little more. All right, the first thing you want to do is you actually want to prime your ear hole from this side. Just get it in there and get some of that triple antibiotic, that ointment, into your ear hole from this side. Okay, and then, uh oh, I'm blurry again. Stop being blurry. Stop blurring. Christ. <sighs> this is so frustrating. And then you want to come in from the back. Because that's really how you're supposed to wear these. And this will take some getting used to as well. You'll have trouble with it at first. But... You'll get it. See? I'm going from the back. And don't force it. If you're having trouble, just leave it alone and let your ear rest and come back to it later. Otherwise you'll hurt yourself. But see? You went from the back, you fasten it, and you're done. So, it's that easy. But, like I said, if if you're not used to it, it will take some getting used to. Um, definitely keep them clean, just like you would with any other earrings that you wear. And you can embellish them. Like here, I've got on this one, actually, I have two ch little chain links. See here, I've got like, like two links from a little from a little jewelry chain I had. You can see there, two little chain links. And the other one is a soda can tab, which I've seen a lot of people do that actually. I've seen pictures of other people wearing these things before. And soda can tabs is actually a pretty popular one. So I mean, you can go to the store and get like charms, or you can even use like little little tiny little pendants from other earrings or something, or just add more safety pins to it. Jump rings, hardware. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the possibilities are rather endless, so uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, say something in the comments below. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that shit, whatever. So uh, that's today's DIY video. Thank you very much for watching.